This is not my words, rather. It is the words of Ripple's director, Sean, who indicated that Ripple is going to burn over 50% of the total XRP that is held in escrow in the midst of speculation on the SSE settlement. He is referring to the fact that 50% of the total quantity of XRP is about to be burnt. It goes without saying that this would be one of the largest burns that we have witnessed, and it has also been confirmed by the chief technology officer of Ripple, who states that a burn of 40 billion XRP is actually extremely likely. All of this is of course being interpreted in light of the fact that the World Bank is on the verge of recognizing XRP as a stable coin. As a consequence, XRP is expected to be valued at between $10,000 a coin as the government gives its approval to the XRP USDC peg pair. There is a lot to talk about in today's video and there is a lot of crazy content that you want to watch of course. However, before we get into it, make sure that you click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video in order to receive up to $100 worth of free XRP. Signing up for Uphold is all that is required of you in order to take advantage of this method, which is not only one of the simplest ways to fill your bag, but also takes less than 5 minutes. Perform a transaction, the value of which might be any amount, such as a penny, a dollar, ten dollars, or any other figure nonetheless, once the transaction is completed and you have joined up using the link, you will receive free XRP worth up to $100 that you have not paid for. Now that everything has been said, let's jump right into watching this video. As XRP stablecoin reaches $10,000, the World Bank begins to experience a growing sense of excitement. Sean McBride, who was formerly the director of Ripple, has revealed that the World Bank acknowledges XRP as a stablecoin. Additionally, he has revealed that the potential for XRP, if it becomes even more official, is $10,000 per coin. Thus, it is not surprising that this information has been publicized. Currently, this comes in the midst of conjecture that we are about to witness a major burn of 50% of Ripple XRP. The most important thing that is going to take place is that Ripple is going to be compelled to burn 50% of its escrow, which of course holds more than 40 or 50 billion XRP in the midst of settlement discussions. To put it another way, the SEC is essentially demanding that they release 50% of their escrow funds in exchange for a settlement. And the reason that we are even mentioning this news is because it has been confirmed by a number of different sources such as Sean, Ripple's former director, and even Ripple's chief technology officer David Short, who did exactly highlight how that would be possible. As well as the fact that it is very likely that a burn of 50% or 40 billion XRP is attainable and is likely to actually be happening. In point of fact, even Binance has acknowledged the fact that the government of the United States has given its approval to the XRP USDC peg pair. This indicates that the government is actively working toward the goal of pegging the XRP cryptocurrency with the USD coin in order to make it more stable. And of course, all of this is connected to one primary issue, which is the World Bank's $10,000 XRP and how it would be possible to achieve that. In reality, it would be possible to achieve this by reducing the supply, which would be the result of a burn of the Ripple Labs XRP escrow and then pegging it to the United States dollar or something similar. In recent times, there has been a significant amount of proof of everything that we have discussed, including the fact that the Federal Reserve is on the verge of implementing XRP on a global scale. As I continued my investigation, I came upon this particular piece of information. According to the statement, the Federal Reserve has confirmed the usage of XRP on a global scale in accordance with the ISO 4217 standard. The Global Bridge Currency Standard is a standard that is exclusively established for currencies such as the United States dollar, the euro, the pound, and the yen. If you are unfamiliar with this concept, it is the standard that is being discussed here. XRP, which has been placed under the ISO 4217 standard code, is of course now being added to the list with this newly added addition. Additionally, there has been a great deal of talk regarding the possibility of a buyback by the Federal Reserve. In the event of a repurchase, the Federal Reserve and the federal government would, in essence, be acquiring XRP at a rate in order to attempt and amass all of it within their own wallets, rather than making it available to the general public. In addition, it is common knowledge that, as of late, there have been a great deal of restrictions placed on individuals who are attempting to purchase XRP. 
It is also important for us to be aware of the fact that the FedNow payment system, which is physically managed by the Federal Reserve and the federal government, is collaborating with Cross River Bank. It should come as no surprise that Ripple Labs is the company that is being utilized in this massive agreement. Ripple Labs and the digital asset XRP are, in fact, what is being utilized on the back end of things. This is due to the fact that the payment platform that is working with the Federal Reserve really makes use of the XRP ledger. Therefore, when we claim that the Federal Reserve of the United States of America has started using XRP for all payment transactions, it can be said that this is becoming increasingly logical. We are witnessing widespread use of XRP across the globe, and the large burn that is occurring is simply going to accentuate the price increase for the value of XRP. This is due to the fact that when we consider the situation, when you burn the supply of XRP, there is already a massive demand for it. The problem is that there is no longer enough XRP to go around for all of these financial institutions, particularly when you consider the fact that quadrillions of dollars are being facilitated into the XRP ledger. Furthermore, one thing that underlines this even further is the fact that the CTF token, also known as the Crypto Trading Fund token, is a cryptocurrency that is included on the XRP ledger. This token is about to experience a surge in value that is unprecedented. If you are searching for an XRP ledger coin that is genuinely going to increase by 10 or 100 times, then the CTF token is the one you should be looking at. This is because even according to the statements of Jack the Rippler, a notable expert and analyst within the XRP field who has over 200,000 followers, this is the case. What is going to pump like crazy now is the CTF token, and if it only gets to a fourth of XRP's market cap, we are looking at a rise from 40 cents to 598. This is what is going to happen. In this context, the term bank refers to the fact that a significant amount of money is about to be made through the utilization of the cryptocurrency trading fund token. This token is the only DeFi token that is ranked among the top 10 on the XRP ledger. Furthermore, it has a supply of only 120 million tokens, which indicates that a supply shock is about to occur, which is essentially nothing even at the price of $598. However, as demand continues to rise, we are experiencing supply shock, and it really gets listed on all of the main exchanges. So we are talking about the very little that we are expecting the CTF token to touch, and the most potential number that we are anticipating it to hit is $598. However, it may possibly approach thousands of dollars. Even when you are conducting your research, we are still in the very beginning stages of the game. I own the CTF token. I actually bought it when it was sitting at 24 cents. It's now at 40 cents or close to that. So I've made some money. But the idea here is we're still very early. There's only one. 500 holders and I actually just bought the dip right now because I truly believe that this coin is going to at least 100x. And when you think about it, when they're not listed on centralized exchanges, they haven't done a mass marketing campaign. Really nothing has happened yet, and they've already. Skyrocketed, you know, 1,400% in the last couple days. So, of course, when you see that number, as you know, thousands of percentage increases with still not much happening, they're about to be releasing probably a lot more updates. So just think about it on the large. Scale right when they do get listed on something like Binance, when they do get listed on Crypto.com, all these massive Coinbase, these massive exchanges, what the price has to be. Because right now we're very early on only one. 500 holders, and it kind of reminds me of Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin was at a dollar. It was risky at the beginning. People knew about it. But the people that did buy Bitcoin a dollar actually ended up becoming multimillionaires. Those are the guys that are rich people like uh, Da Vinci, which made it clear that they bought Bitcoin a dollar and they held, and it was all because they did do